here at the asus booth ces 2024 looking at the brand new asus republic of gamer zephyrus g14 completely new redesign we have a thinner and lighter chassis all the way around what are your thoughts on the redesign? I'm very curious. There's been mixed emotions here, even at the booth, just talking to different people about this new redesign. I personally like the design. It seems much more uniform. There's less of the gamer vibes, which for me personally, I like. I don't like the big chunky back bezel. That was probably my, one of my complaints about the G14. And so that they've slimmed this out and created a much more sleek design, I am a huge fan of. Now, what they have done on the bottom cover is they've actually removed the vent that used to shoot up towards the screen. They now have a 3K OLED display that reaches 100% DCI-P3 and up to 500 nits of screen brightness. Because of that, they've gone ahead and moved the vents to the bottom cover where they're pushing air out of the bottom rather than up towards the screen like on the previous design. And that was a big complaint from a lot of users is that there was hot air pushing up towards the screen. So they've resolved that. And we also have a large vent along the bottom cover of the chassis for more ventilation as well. Now we do have speakers on the bottom bottom cover and on the top cover of the keyboard deck, so anticipating a really good audio experience. Now one thing they did that I really like keeping the G14 vibes is they've kept the same button that was on top of the G14, so very reminiscent of the prior generation, and they have the keys along the top of the keyboard deck. Now taking another spin towards the bottom cover, unfortunately the RAM is soldered to the motherboard. Now it totally makes sense for how thin and light this chassis is, there just wasn't room to have removable RAM sticks. So you can get this in 16 or 32 gigs of RAM, and because they're now soldered to the motherboard, they're gonna be a little bit faster. So the 16 gigs is gonna be a little bit faster than 16 gigs previously when it was not soldered, and then 32, same thing. So if you wanna have a lot of ceiling, I recommend going for 32. Honestly, for 4K video editing, Photoshop, even 3D modeling, you're gonna most likely be fine with 16 gigs of RAM. However, if you wanna be safe, the upgrade to 32 is always a good bet. Next, we're taking a look at the top cover. Now, I love what they've done with the top cover here. Instead of having the badge, it's now engraved into the CNC aluminum chassis. So that's really awesome. Of course, they have this really neat angled stripe element along the top cover. I feel like this is gonna get tons of mixed reviews just because it's gonna be one of those things that some people love and one of those things that some people hate. And I gotta say, I actually do like it a lot. It's a nice little touch, keeping the angle design that we saw on the previous Zephyrus, just a new spin on it. Now, as far as the specs are concerned, you can get it in this color or you can get it in more of a dark gray. And it has up to an RTX 4070. So no longer are we seeing this laptop with the 4090 like we did previous generations. Now also it's gonna be equipped with the latest Ryzen 8000 and up to 32 gigs of RAM. And we're going to have a 73 watt hour battery. So hopefully with Ryzen 8000, we can see some good battery life like we've seen generation over generation with the G14. Now let's go ahead and check out the ports. On the right side panel, we have a micro SD card reader, USB type A and USB type C. And on the left side, we have a new type of power adapter, HDMI, USB-C, USB type A and a headphone jack. We'll be looking at the Zephyrus G16, the ZenBook, and a bunch of other laptops here at the ASUS booth. So definitely check out the full playlist so you don't miss any of the CES content. I'll see you here in the next one.